we can assume that the pastor is just subbing face though because according to the World Challenge organization after a complaint had been made from a parent that Richard had been hitting child Ren was dropped by the organization fully and only one week later. He was independently rehired by the church and this was also backed up by Richard's diary account over. The course of his stay Richard will go on to learn the Tamil language which was spoken by the community of the church this basic knowledge helped him blend into the community and the familias will even go on to invite him into their homes, but little did they know a monster was about to emerge, it gets a bit hazy, as to when Richard would start to abuse children some people claim that it was when he went to his Cambodia trip in 2006 which we're going to get into whilst others claim it started at the church itself for context of this video, we'll go with church the Orient at some point, it's believed that Richard had became fond, of a three-year-old girl who attended the church, and over a period of quite literally years she'd been raped and abused by him. This had all been captured in camera and was a vention to the small child. As she was growing up the girl had raised the alarm to her father about the abuse, but she'd been shrugged off and told to shut up after building relationships outside of the church, discovered a poor village where he decided to volunteer teaching English from time to time, and claimed that he was a freelance photographer. The village is primarily made up of Indian families with poor education and would take photos of the village saying that's exactly what he was there to do the local villages even housed him there and provided him with basic necessities sacreting to a charity worker who kept in touch with the local villagers went on to say that they claimed have have pretty normally and there was no suspicion when he was around the children little did they know thaw was the fact that they had a monster amongst them because for the following nine years he's nine years richer, which were all aged between four and seven in apropriatelithids, when the alarm was raised to parents. But once again these claims were ignored in 2006 Richard decided to take a two-week trip to Cambodia in a homestay in other words this means families who put travelers up for a small prize over this two-week stay it's believed that Richard Huckle after going on to meet the family Woljo on to molest a two-year-old child and would video his disgusting actions there is conflicting reports that he bust two sisters at Jedfer and six on the same trip to Cambodia but he did go back to that exact Samaham one year later in 2007 where the abuse could have definitely continued with other family members after realizing that he could get away with abusing children Richard decides to stay in Malaysia Abbey and his gap year basing himself in the capital Altha does take frequent trips back to England would then secure himself a student visa in 2011 studying IT at the Kuala Lumpur University and also enrolled himself at the British Council in Kuala Lumpur where he took a two-month SALTA course a certificate of English language to teach adults after completing the two-month SALTA course Richard would decide to advertise himself as an English teacher in various websites which gained him access to children working at various schools orphanages and even privately with families and a third tick that Richard would use to get in to families homes when he would take frequent trips to Port Dixon an area located just outside of the capital city be the coast which was a family hot his strategy would go as follows headaches pictures of children he meets at beach offers them prints of the photos to gain their trust and then speaks to the prince where after a conversation starts to bubble he offers to teach free english lessons to the children but of course we know what his true intentions were in his diary he writes about his success by saying quadum back again at port dixon and staying around the house of my 12 family spent time with the baby trying to jether to sleep in a hammock over the nine-year period four trips had been made to India where he visited various different orphanages each orphanage coming out to explain that rich article was never allowed to be a lonerant children and some of them had even felt off about his character here he is in 2013 in the new hope for children orphanage in a series of emails he wrote to Thepister of that orphanage persuades him to allow him to visit after claiming he can speak basic Tamu and he would be more than happy to use his photography and editing skills to help make promotional material for the minister when Richard Huckle would eventually jet caught by authoritiest orphanage took to their Facebook page distancing himself from his involvement at the orphanage and claiming once again wasn't around the children with its supervision. Before we move forward I just wanted to quickly note that. No police investigations were ever opened about his time in Indian Netherbuke authorities or Indian authorities but this behavior does mirror that off Malaysia and people do believe the children had been abused whilst over in India. 
but in the Manai years of abuse and rape to multiple children between the ages of 6 months and 13 years old just as you know he had been recording his hideous acts on video and had been taken images, but he didn't keep them to himself since 2005-2006 he'd been posting quite literally tens of thousands of abuse Majesto the dark web now I don't need to react down what the dark web is because of the majority of you watching will know what it is and as you know it is a hotbed for people like Richard Huckler the content was shared to various websites. But one which stored the most of his content was one by the name of Love Zone. The Love Zone, when it was still available on the dark web, was only of the world's largest and most secure pedophile networks. With AROUND 45000 members, depraved pedophiles had been sharing images and videos of child sex abuse ranging in various categories. What made this website so secure from law enforcement thought was the fact that any suspicious account will go on to be instantly deleted. In 2014, what users didn't realize thought was that the site had been compromised by Paulus and Richard Huckle's near decade of child sex abuse was about to come to an end. But how exactly did law enforcement gain access to a website if any suspicious accounts would you tell it a good morning everybody I'd like to talk about Project Spade this morning in October 2010 undercover online officers with the child exploitation section of the Toronto Police Service made contact with a male on the internet well is sharing very graphic images of young children being sexually abused through investigations the officers were able to trace the internet connection to a male living in Toronto the investigation revealed that this individual was running an exploitation movie production and distribution company from an address within the city of Toronto this company operated a website known as www.asawfilms.com where customers from around the world could place orders to have movies sent to them through the Mailer through the internet investigators believe many of the semivies were consistent with the Canadian criminal code definition of child pornography at this time the Toronto Police Service is at the assistance of the United States Postal Inspection Service as it appeared many of the movies were being exported into the United States Toronto Police Service and the United States Postal Inspection Service then began a joint investigation on MAY1ST 2011 after a seven-month-long investigation officers executed numerous search warrants at various locations across the city of Toronto and of these search warrants was executed at the side of the Purper Tedbusinus located in the west end of Toronto officers spent four days inside this Businus scatologing the thousands of Mavice computers and other media located during their search at this time over 45 terabytes of information was seized from the Businus and to give you some perspective this is equivalent to a stack of paper. As TALLAS 1500 CN towers on the same date a search warrant was also executed at the residence of the owner-operator of the Businus Brian Way it is alleged that officers located hundreds of thousands of images and videos deadling horrific sexual acts against very young children some of the worst that they have ever viewed in 2011 a then 42-year-old Canadian Brian Way had been arrested after Project Spadi was carried out by law enforcement agencies in Canada and the United States respectively Hewell event eventually go on to be C-H-A-R-G-E-D-W-I-T-H-15 offenses in relation to 176 videos made by his production companions of films the 176 videos which had been produced revealed that 386 child ran from Spain, Romania, Ukraine and Australia had been used in these films out prepubescent with some as young as just five years old in court as defense team Waldert that he shouldn't be charged for a very video because some depicted nudist films of young boys at play to which the judge agreed but said 60 of the 176 videos fell under what Canadian law classes a child pornography after pleading guilty to various offenses head of the production company Brian Way would eventually go on to be sentenced to 10 years imprisonment, but it his sentence had reduced after alleging he himself was a bust, whilst in custody project speedled to 348 people being arrested around the world over a two to three year period with investigation only being brought to light in 2013 although it did start in 2010 after a man had been arrested in connection with Project Spate in Queensland, Australia quick search of his computer world show that he had been a member on the Love Zanesso police took control of that account so now police have finally had a breakthrough in regards to this infamous dark website that he had been trying to 
gained access to for quite literally years at this point but they still had hurdles to jump because at this point they were just only a 45000 members it was now time to rack the main admin and strike the spedophile website at its heart now that Australian law enforcement had inside access to the website it was time to go for the snake's head with loose and tell that the CO had been located in Australia from images that he had been posting online and quickly not a sink that he would regularly start massages with the unusual greeting of Harris search was on Paul Griffiths officer for task force Argus responsible for the investigation of online child exploitation and abuse in Australia would later come out to say that task force had laid three mistakes had been made by the CO which ultimately would go on to see him arrested by law enforcement officers in Adelaide. A man was discovered using the greeting on a four-wheel drive discussion forum and believe it or not this username was a close copy of the CO's handle on. The Love Zone hires was also found on a separate basketball forum with that same username and it was then it clicked that they must have found Themen, that they were looking for the user in. The four-wheel drive forum had a sked for advice on raising his car, suspension with people suggesting parts for him Toto. So a quick search on Facebook would show that someone was trying to sour set his exact parts for a VW utility. But the FASA book profile was bogus back on the forum board, and Detective Ashid started to get involved asking this user for more information surrounding the vehicle. It was then that this person had posted a picture of the vehicle, but had forgot to blur the registration played out. It was then police run. The plate which gave them a mankman as 32-year-old Shannon McCoolno that police had their main suspect new information about Shannon would commit a light after a background check was when you see Shannon had been employed by Thestate to look after child Ren and in fact his child care employment dated back to 2004 so a 10-year time gap where he had been working with child rental around the world. Some red flags had been raised of it. Nothing ever came from it. Like back in 2010 some staff questioned the way he behaved around the children including raising the possibility that in occasions he had inappropriate physical contact with some of the children or later being convicted on two counts of aggravated indecent assault risk indecency and a gravitated production of child pornography in relation to a two-year-old he was still working with children after Thessalerms had been raised four days after Shannon had been identified. It was time for police to move into all officers. From South Australia police quite literally walked up to his door gave it a knock he answered he was arrested and luckily for them the computer was turned on and they now had full access to both his computer and love's own pedophile website. He will eventually go on to be charged WITH 18 offenses against seven young children cared for BETWEEN 2011 through to 2014. This was due to evidence mounting up against him and he had a distinctive freckle which was spotted on his finger and had been seen in those abuse videos it would then be in 2015. He was sentenced to 35 years in prison but in 2018, that sentenced would be reduced to 28 years which means he could be out after serving 26 years after helping authorities prosecute Marepidophileso, with now one of the world's largest in-line pedophile networks being suddenly run from the Brisbane headquarters of the Queensland policy, it was time for the police to gather as much intel as they called to go on and arrest and charge Marepidophilus they had left the site running for around six months. While pedophilus continued to post and talk about their twisted behavior or police had made a hit list of worst offenders they wanted to catch and on top of that list was none author than Richard Huckle Richard had made the hit list because he was a producer uploading exclusive fresh material. On a weekly basis Argo's officer Paul Griffiths would say could he belittled others on the forum for claiming they were pedophiles, he thought they we were just sitting at home living off of their people's experiences, while he was out there living the life a continued huckle, talked about living a legacy where he'd be remembered because of the material, he projects had got to the point where he was actually titling his work saying it was in his studio. He was definitely branding but Paula explained that Richard's material wasn't that it had been a man in South Asia after a pedophile wrote to him quit pity you're far away to Wick Richard, responded I'm probably closer than you think and other intelligence also pointed to this person spending time in Malasiabad. It's not what he photographed that will be a breakthrough in the Kassarather. What he photographed with embedded in some of his images overlooked when he swept the files of metadata was the brand and model of his Olympus camera officers spent theirs up on hers sweeping through photography Satesich Asflicker and Trek Earth for photos taken in Southeast Asia. Using that very same camera ensure inoligal images of children were appearing from various parts of that region of Ural Police. Trace the legitimate photographs to an email address, which in turn illuminated his account on author websites. An echo of the Shannon McCulkey 
Cassian of these accounts was registered under a similar nemeto, that of a pedophile on the loves on a Paul Griffith said quaterialistically by. That stage there was notchance it could have been anyone else of trail also led to a studio name at Hukul Photography Productions it was based in Malaysia and link to Richard Huckle's public Facebook profile Ethera had been more brazen than political to have image in it in Facebook there were photos of similar children and the same child rent that appeared in the abuse material faith published on the dark web after discovering that Richard Huckley was a British nationalist was timed to the National Crime Agency and they were alerted about his crimes but he would remain in Malaysia untouched for another four months after Malaysian police said they didn't have enough evidence to arrest him but after posting on Facebook that he was returning to the UK in December of 2014 the monster that had raped and abused children for multiple years was about to be stopped in his tracks on 19 December 2014 Richard Huckle would arrive at Gatwick Airport and upon arrival his father had been waiting for him. But instead of a warm welcome home for Christmas was greeted by National Crime Agency Detective Eswa immediately arrested him on various charges his computers and hard drives were seized. But to the surpresessor to parts of the computer and his other devices had been encrypted you said you're not really a prony thing except being a pedophile what do you mean by that you say by no means am I claiming to be king or a top dog but the experiences I've had and the regularity of them put me way up in what people aspire to be. Did you likethat team music how frequently did you engage in sexual activity with children after refusing to give police passwords to gain access to his devices? says Richard, gives a no comment policy interview, and then he's belled you to him not having any previous convictions his bail conditions whereeth it he lives at his parents address whilst investigations were ongoing upon release from custody thaws questioned by his mother about the allegations and Huckle admits to wrapping children between the ages of three and 13. At which point his parents refused to allow him to remain in the house and quite literally from reports they had Big Policetto take him back to custody after leaving the home he was rearrested and charged with 91 cons including child abuse and facilitating the commission of child sexual offenses by creating a pedophile manual was denied bail by police and remanded to court where application for bail was also denied and so he was remanded to HMP Balmashu to the severity of the charges at an initial hearing at the old bail in January. January of 2016 Richard pleaded not guilty to all 91 charges which took over an hour. To be read to the court at this point the prosecution started top rapper three eyes three separate trials as they didn't believe a single jury should be subjected to Al if the graphic evidence that would be present at the had also prepared counselors for each juror as they thought. Being shown all this graphic material of child rend being raped and abused would cause up psychological problems for them after the trial had ended. But after this hearing the police had managed to crack some of his devices which showed 2,253 indecent images of children with AR. R-O-U-N-D. 1000 of them showing Huckle abusing them police would never crack the encryption full and they say the 2000 videos and pictures were quite literally a tiny percentage of what was stored on his devices it would then be in April of that same year he went on to plead guilty to 71 of the 91 charges that were brought against him as a result of his confession persecutors decided not to pursue their remaining 20 charges but they did ask that they lee in his file so the charges had B-E-E-N-A-G-A-I-N-S-T-23 girls and boys aged between 6 months and 12 years old 22 of the victims believed to be Malaysian. Whilst one is believed to be Cambodian the 71 exact charges will be 31 counts of sexual assault of a child under the age of 13.12 counts have taken indecent photos of children 6 counts of assault by penetration 13 counts of rape of a child under 13.3. Counts of causing a child under 13 to engage in sexual activity 3 counts of causing a child under 13 to engage in the penetrative sexual activity arranging or facilitating the commission of child sex offenses by writing a child sex abuse manual making over 20.000 indecent images and advertising child pornography over the three-day sentence and hearing more details would start to emerge surrounding this case with the prosecutors going on to say that Talfo this case surrounds 23 victims it's in court the prosecution would go on to say that Richard Huckle would make his way into poor communities in Malaysia where he would go on to abuse and rap a girl's boys babies toddlers and preteens it was explained that Huckle's youngest victim was a baby just six months old whilst another baby was attacked just after her first birth your father seven were aged between one and three 
when they were attacked by him whilst some were abused for years, one child had suffered abuse BETWEEN 2007 to 2014, whilst another had suffered from 2006 to 2013. Poco's activity had been posted to Thelov's own website, which we vow read to be in over and in court, the prosecution will read out extracts about his sickening posts where he would boast about the abuse and extract read some impoverished kids are definitely much much easier to seduce than middle class western kids, I plan on publishing a guide on this subject sometime, he would also say that he would love to make a small income of selling child porn but some of the most shocking revelations came from extracts that were given about a three-year-old girl and a five-year-old girl in reference to the three-year-old girl said quote I'd hit the jackpot a three-year-old girl is loyal to me as a me dog and nobody seemed to care that three-year-old I can have so much sex with it it's just boring tongue out image you will at least she's now ready for buciness with pedo fundingi I know very twisted and so pedo funding was explained as a crowdfunding website on the dark web where people would pay to view child rape the deus and grooming tactic Richard would use on children is that he would take them torture parts of the city of course the children that he abused were from poor neighborhoods on these trips out he would take innocent photos with the children and post them on Facebook Putin. The dark web it was a completely different ball gamma Coco had also wrote a 60-page child sex abuse manual explaining how to get away with exploiting children in a seattle pedophiles and poverty child lover guide but if that hasn't made you sick to your stomach already then from november of 2013 to november of 2014 so one month before he was arrested hester did to implement a system into his abuse called guido points chart now how this would work is he would award himself points based on 15 categories rape world of score to 15 and that would have a binth worst category well within one year of implementing the system amassed a score of 1305 so. This just goes to show you how Mukrup and Abusu went on in that year alone. And remember this went on for any ARLY 10 years. But it does seem as if Richard Hooker was extremely delusional after. He but if that was the case for one Yaukno as a grown adult wat sexually abusing and raping a child would dob it on top of this. You literally rape some of the children over multiple years. It was then Thedjage handed HIM 22 life sentences with a minimum term OF 25 years, which pretty much meant he would end up dying in prison. But this isn't exactly where the story ends. And for some, this is what you'd call poetic justice in the 13th of October 2019. Paul Fitzgerald a convicted sex offender himself who had sexually assaulted a young child in a list of many other sexually related charges will subject Richard Huckle to an hour and 19 minutes of torture before killing him the later intentions of eating him at HMP full Sutton after selecting Richard as his victim in week prior he would put him through what's been described as a prolonged attack designed to humiliate and degrade his hands and feet had been bound before he was gagged and strangled with an electric cord he was then raped, and a spoon was inserted into his anus which entered his lower bowel he had his jaw broken from having his head smashed it in the cell floor around six or seven times before Jating finished off when a pen fixed with the blade to its end was inserted up his nose and into his brain, when staff eventually realized what was happening right, he was right, removed right. from the cell and was quoted as saying that he enjoyed it and would have gone on to kill other inmates if he hadn't been stopped at because he was having too much funits also thought that. If he'd been left in the soul a little while longer Thade would have cooked him and started to eat him. He was eventually put on trial, where in a nutshell he explained that he wanted payback for what recharted to his innocent victims and despite the brutal murder he shall be seen as a victim eating he wanted Richard to know what it felt like the judge then handed him a life sentence with a minimum term of 34 years and Whilst sentencing him, the judge called him a psychopath with a red pleasure from imagining torturing, raping, killing, and eating others. And as the judge was saying this to him, Paul looked up at him and started to law. But if there's one thing we can take away from the story, it's that Richard Hooker was an evil, sick, twisted, depraved individual, and you can see why the British media lab led him one of the worst pedophiles to ever come from the UK. Can you just imagine how many children's lives that this monster has affected moving forward because it's a well known factor? That physically and mentally when someone gets abuset especially from a young age that stays with them throughout their lives I know charities have since been involved with certain victims that have been identified and are thankfully offering support to us that need it tears also classes now about this kind of crime in Malaysia because it was every tab a subject that believe it or not a lot of population.